Welcome back to more Summoner's War Monster Strategies. Today we're going to be looking at the Harpoos, beginning with the Wind Harpoo, Seal. So Seal is a monster that is not a terrible 2-star, but she's not great either. She's an average 2-star monster, has some pretty good use in certain situations, but aside from that, she's really overpowered or, or outclassed, I should say, by Colleen. Because everybody knows that Colleen is an amazing monster in Acropolis and Raids. But anyway, as far as Seal goes, let's go ahead and talk about her stats as a level 46 star, and they are as follows. 8,070 HP, 615 attack, 494 defense, and 108 speed. So the speed is pretty good, just like, you know, most Harpoos. They're pretty up there. The HP is not too great, the attack is pretty good, and the defense is mediocre. The main reason why the stats are not too impressive is because she is, in fact, a natural 2-star monster. So that is, you know... Well, a bad thing automatically, like, you know, it's a negative thing that many two-star monsters suffer automatically. You know, they're just outclassed in terms of stats. But anyway, so let's talk about the skills now. So, the first one is Blackout Kick. This one says, performs a ruthless combo, kicking the enemy two times. Each attack has a 50% chance of decreasing the enemy's attack power for two turns. For two turn, it says. It's two turns, typo. Second skill, Shriek. Unleashes a piercing scream, stunning the enemy and inflicting continuous damage for 3 turns. This skill receives 50% additional accuracy. Skill 3 is Whirlpool. Summons a powerful Whirlpool, inflicting damage on all enemies and reducing their attack bars by 40%. That means a 100% initial chance, which means it always takes accuracy versus resistance. Anyway, as you can see, the skills have a pretty interesting combination, but as you can see, they require a lot of accuracy. So, that is going to be one of the recommendations. Let's talk about the rune recommendations. As you can see, it is pretty good to make this monster, you know, I mean, there's actually a lot of different ways, but you can either make her despair to have some utility in, you know, TOA or I guess in certain Kairos dungeons, or you can make her have more turns by using Swift and or Violent. You know, it doesn't matter either or. I mean, usually Swift is better for early to mid game because you don't have access to good Violet runes in the beginning. But eventually, usually it's better to switch to Violent through some exceptions such as Bernard. Uh, you already know, you know. But anyway, um, the other stuff that you want to do with Seal are to give her a Focus set most likely and then Speed, HP, Accuracy in slots 2, 4, and 6 respectively. She needs high speed. Like I said, you know, a lot of turns to lower that cool time so she can just keep... I guess, you know, lowering the ATB bar and just inflicting a lot of other debuffs. She also needs um, a lot of accuracy. All three of her skills require accuracy. And in HP, you know, it's fair to make her tanky instead of giving her attack. Even though she does have more attack and defense. Whatever. The point is, you want her to be tanky and be used as a debuffer, not a crazy attack monster, you know? As far as substats go, I mean, that's pretty much it, you know? Speed, HP, accuracy. Those are the three most important things you want to do with Seal. So like I said, Seal is a monster that just by looking at her skills, she has pretty decent use in some situations. I'm not going to call her a terrible two-star monster that you should ditch right away, no. Because you can actually get by using her for a pretty good amount. Actually, a recommendation because I believe this monster is required for uh, fusing. You can keep her. You know, you her, ruin her up correctly, uh, up until you get all the other monsters that you have to fuse for the fusion, and then get rid of her. Or, if you want, you could keep her up until 5-star, I mean, I don't know if she would be of great use, but the point is, she's not an amazing 2-star by any means, no. Amazing 2-stars are like Konamiya, Ramagos, Shannon, Colleen, but she does not classify in that. She just considers, or she's just considered, sorry, a pretty good 2-star, let's just say that. So. That is my overall review of Seal. If you have any room recommendations, go ahead and leave a comment. I am sure that people would appreciate seeing your different room recommendations if you have anything. Also, feel free to agree or disagree with what I said in this video. And also, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time.